New Chopper 2 was overhead as more than a thousand people marched down Broadway. The poor pollution in California affects millions of people, and it's not just the communities directly next door to the port terminals. <laughs> For those of us that have been doing this work for a long time, this is the sort of alliance that we've dreamed about. The jobs folks and the community and clean air folks were on separate sides. And today is a beautiful day because when we demand good jobs and clean air together, we are all that much more powerful. We built a coalition of the environmental groups, a coalition of community activists, and we changed the law. The Port of Los Angeles, under the leadership of Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa, made a historic decision. The rally started at the Oakland Marriott, where the crowd was inspired to march by impassioned speeches from two of California's biggest port city mayors, Oakland and Los Angeles. And I want to take this public opportunity to say to you, Mayor Antonio Villaraigosa, that you were first but Oakland is going to be second. With the growth of trade, we're going to have to move goods all across the United States, not just in Los Angeles and Long Beach. We're going to move it here in Oakland, in Seattle, in New York, in Baltimore, in Miami. That when we move them, we want to move them in a way that protects the public health, that ensures the clean air for our kids. Premature death rates are higher for those living near California ports. One in five children in West Oakland suffer from asthma. Those are the highest rates in the state. We know that the current port trucking system is broken. We know that this broken system contributes to unacceptable diesel emissions, polluted air, unacceptable high rates of asthma, and other impacts on the health of our residents and workers. And we looked at the issues and we looked at the problem. We realized how deep this problem was. Not only were drivers being exploited, but communities were being exploited. Nobody should have to pay to subsidize the cost of cheap goods with their health. Between the company owners and the poor commissioners, they got the power to do this because it's a lot of contamination for our kids, our community. These drivers cannot actually afford to replace their trucks or put retrofit devices on their trucks to clean the air. Independent contractors, there are about 2,000 that service the Port of Oakland. They make at this point anywhere between $8 and $11 an hour. Um, we know that that is not a living wage. That is not enough to actually own, operate, and maintain the trucks that they have to operate. We must maintain the integrity of good jobs for our migrant truck drivers who need to have a real living, not a false wage that continues to perpetuate poverty and pollution. We want to have a good job, health benefit, and everything. We're going to fight. As Attorney General, we have our investigators checking out what is going on at this port with the drivers, who's in control, and what are the real rules. And we're going to do everything we can to get your rights. Community organizations, environmental organizations coming together to change the way that really the port industries operate. And the reason that we are working at various ports and we're really looking at, at this as, as a national campaign and not regional campaigns is because you have to win at all ports. No campaign has been more dynamic. No campaign has been more engaging of our community members and our workers. And no campaign has been a bigger challenge to the corporations, to Walmart. We are united more so than we have ever been before. And my vote is yes to good jobs and clean air. It's all about the working person, you know, good jobs, clean air. We've been fighting this battle for 40, 50 years. By coming together, we can win. And so that model, we know and are confident that is going to take us to vic other victories down the line. So I want to hear you. Do we fight this together? This is the beginning of something fantastic. And you can tell everybody that you were at the beginning. You were at the forefront because you took the time to march. You took the time to care. And when we say good jobs, clean air, we mean it. Let's hear it. Good jobs, clean air. Good jobs, clean air. Good jobs.